Hey guys, Ultraplus here and welcome to Tutorial Tuesdays! So today I'll be showing you guys how to make this. Unfortunately, I won't be showing you how to create your own program, but I'll just be showing you how to configure your RGB strips with an already existing interface. So let's get straight into it. So what do we need? Our soldering iron for soldering, ESP82 or 32 for hosting the LED server, our solder, heat shrink for cabling, and our little cables. Obviously, you'll need your 5 volt LED strips as well, addressable LED strips, and a 5 volt power source with a cup of coffee. Unfortunately, because I've already done my soldering, I'll skip straight to the making of the coffee. This is a very important step for all software related situations require a good cup of coffee. So let's get to it. What you want to do is plug in your ESP32 so we can flash it with the WLED server. So what you want to do now is get a couple of applications. Uh, this is the first one you need, ESP Home Flasher. I'll probably leave a link in the description. You'll see the first link will lead you to um, the WLED releases on GitHub. Uh, there's 17 releases now, just click on there and it'll lead you to the latest release. So just make sure you download the proper WLED version for you. In this case, mine is um, the ESP32. Um, I would recommend the 80, 8266 if you have a compatible chipset. Unfortunately, in my case here, I only have the 32. So I'll be downloading the 32 LED pin 16 because this one works better compared to the other ones. So it's downloaded right there, there we go. Open folder. So now you have your two files, the ESP32, uh, I mean the ESP home flasher, and you have your uh, WLED file. So now what you wanna do, it's as simple as just going to the home flasher, opening it up. Okay, you have your home flasher on, and you wanna just select your port. Um, this is the port for the for, for your ESP um, Just connect that on and uh, You want to just get your firmware So now you open that once you have the bin file selected now you can just go flash During this flashing process. I just want to explain how important it is that you select the right LEDs for your project um, you want to make sure that your LED strip is a 5 volt LED strip and you want to make sure that that LED strip has three connections. So you're going to have your um, positive, negative and your data line. These three lines are what you need for this project to work perfectly. As you can see there, it's done flashing and it's done resetting the chipset. So now what you need to do um, is now um, log on to its Wi-Fi because after it's done flashing, it'll create um, a hotspot for you. You just want to connect to the access point. Uh, the password should be somewhere here. Oh, looky here, it's not here. Um, <laughs> so your Wi-Fi password should be WLED1234. Just select that once it's done as you can see there it'll just quickly open up the home page um, what you want to do is go to Wi-Fi settings connect to your to your network um, in, in which you just need to enter your your actual home network uh, details so this is your SSID and your password which I'm gonna enter now so once you've entered your SSID and password, it'll take some time to reboot. Oh wow, that didn't take long at all. 
the first time it took some time um, it was actually quite annoying wow I like the new update the lighting mode is active so you get your power you get different colors you can select from you get different effects that you can choose from you get um, oh wow you can add segments now so you can choose different segments of LEDs okay this is a new new update so all this is new to me um, but what you want to just do now is then connect up your LEDs this part can be tricky because now depending on um, the chips that you're using you get um, different ports or different pins to connect to so in my case here I've got VIN which means voltage in I've got GND which means ground and I've got RX2 which is my data pin so this can be different depending on which, which kind of chipset you're using I'm gonna go to your configurations and in your LED preferences you want to just choose how many LEDs you've got in which in this case I've got uh, 120 LEDs so I've got two strips with 60 each so after that you can just go save them there we go so now that we all set up uh, your LEDs should actually now be working they should be on and as you choose different animations they will change accordingly what's great about this new update is that I've noticed you can actually set up different segments to have different animations so you can have half of the LED strip just displaying some different um, colorizing effect and you'll have a different segment also having a different colorizing effect and what's also nice is because it's connected via wi-fi your phone is also able to connect to it to the server and um, you can easily just download the app from an app store i think it also is available on android but i've got it on my iphone here and you can also connect to it and change effects and pretty much do everything you can do on the desktop browser on the phone which is quite convenient because most of the time you don't really have uh, the time to go to your browser and enter a URL or something like that and it's pretty convenient having it on your phone so i hope you've gotten some useful information out of this if you would like to create your own go ahead if this is a lot easier than a lot of people make it seem so don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video and maybe subscribe if you would like to see more of this and uh leave a comment if you have something to say